welcome back to the next installment of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, teaming off where we left off. Uh, Cat Island, I was meant to be in here to do some... I don't know, something I guess. And now it's daytime and no one's drunk, so I'm fucked. That is okay. Tag up the guards. Uh, this. Oh, there's a sniper right there. I can come through here. No, that was very unnecessary. Kill this man. It through here? How do I get up? Hold on. Am I in the right area? Whoops. Uh, oh. oh no, I'm not. I'm supposed to be here. Hmm. Alright, well then let's just... What's this? Back to Mayor Stone. I don't know how the monkey. I'm not doing that. Okay, so I'll just, uh, like some shit. Done. Oh, suddenly it's raining. How do I? I was... I'm not bothered. I'm just gonna go. Wait, can I fast travel? No, I can't. Alright, back to the ship it is. Here. Oh, that's cool. Mortars. That would be good. This would also be good at as well. Probably uses a lot more than this. The hell is this? Oh, I didn't know this. Fuck. Right trigger to fire. Cool. I guess it's time to make my way back, loot some ships. Captain has the helm. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do Yui. Keep going, keep going. Alright, there we go. Flying against the wind. Garbage. 
Yeah, sure, I'll pick up a sailor. Level 4 schooner, let's go for it. What the fuck? I just demolished that dude. Okay, and he could lower wanted levels. Will you sign on, lads? Just go down to the um, <clears throat> exclamation mark. Oh, where is this? Oh, fuck, I'm so far out. Fuck me, where am I going? Go across it. What are these birds? Fuck. Fuck the ship up. This deer here. Please open this. What's this red dot? This is more like 
Windmill, is there a windmill here? Oh, this should be an easy one. There appears to be no windmill. Does it kind of kill if I just shoot it? Probably not, eh? Where's this fragment? Oh. Oh, it's not dead? It is dead. Couple of tortoises. men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? That's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. Locate El Arco de Maestro. Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love hurricane. We have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I was the main. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. God. Gunboat. As long as they don't see me, right? Here she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't soil your breeches, lads. I got this. Oh, no. 
Has to be this one with the massive area. That ship's a monster. Look at the size of it. Aye, and we've not lost long face to face, my lord. Hear that, Kenway? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. Cover of darkness, most likely. Ah, oh, you may come to that. <laughs> Fucking so many against the wind. I'm going too fast. Fuck! It's in between like first gear and second gear. Oh shit, that one's turning real quick. Get outside of that one. Nice, try to avoid this one as well, so go to the side here. Oh, I don't think it's working. Oh, oh, made it. Oh, shit. Fuck me, there's another ship. Let's try to get this. Ah, there we go. Captain, 
Get out of there. Oh shit, I'm in the thick of it. He's on brawls like to sink two ships, he's headshots to sink ships. Dude, I'm destroying these ships. There's <sighs> one dude behind me. We got some loot while I'm at it, right? Stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Oh, okay. Sure, whatever. I go here first. Hmm. <laughs> Let's not do that one. Not really much loot on that one, so just skip it for now. What the fuck did I hit into? A ship repairs men or something here. No, don't do that. Yep. Good stuff, my dude.
Alrighty. Climb from here. Yeah. Fuck you. What the fuck? Where's the synchronization point? Isn't it here? Nope. No! Oh my god. We're up here. You missed it. What the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm not getting it. Hello? This thing's fast. Two ports, a dock, and an island. Oh, hold on. Oh. No. Ah, oh, the two ports on the other side of the line. Oh, thing. Oh, actually, maybe. Is there a teapot here? This be it? Could it be here? I don't know how I jumped over that, but sure. Nah, it's not. It's not showing. Not showing up. Maybe I was wrong. I can grab that fucking animus fragment while I'm at it. Fuck you. No! <sighs> Can you just climb up from here? No, you can't. It's a frustrating fucking part of this.
Alright, it's done. Good to ship. I am heavily injured. I don't want no trouble. I'll just bypass this. What? Yeah, that's not. There's two of them there. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. Alright. Let's go. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the king's council so unified. All right, reach the jungle's exit. That seems all right. I mean, like, it looks like there's already a pre-built path for me. Too bad, I guess. I don't think it's the right way either. Maybe it is. Oh my god, I didn't even see that.
Three upgrades are available. Let's get out where it came from, I guess. Where did he go? Shit. Easiest one. Alright, it's done. That's a lot of gold actually, it's not too bad. Don't do that. Oh, whatever. Does that actually kill him? Hold on. I don't know how that happened, but uh, it just happened, I guess. Back up there. Huh? Hey? This tree, maybe? Wait, there's a treasure chest there? Shit, did I miss it? Oh, I did. Oh, I'm so blind.
Okay. A lot of cardio, man. Why not fuck with these dudes? because there's two there as well. I don't think I could kill them. What's a try though? Yeah, there's two there. Go the wrong way. How? Fuck me. I'll oh, talk to you too, though, buddy. Dead? Oh, I think it jumped to his death. What the fuck? Alright. Not much I can do about that. As if you can't see me. Some some ball that ship here. Yeah? Fuck me.
one there. Shit. As if you can't hear me. Easy. There's a synchronization point here. Get this dude. Why oh, can't I loot this? Fuck. Where's the sync point? Back up there. I don't think that's climbable, to be honest. We'll leave it. Let's get on the ship. It's not a climbable section. Daylight. Remember the gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putain has bold as a musket ball and still half as sharp. Oh! I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. Ah! What's this? 
His petty larceny the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! Oh, excuse me, I didn't know those were optional memories. Hey! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so... We had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. I'll walk faster than you. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Interesting. Oh. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Let me do a little snip around. Disorientating playing this troll. Olivier said to go right in. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize her. Here we go. Into the great digital frontier, the singularity, the space in which she dwells, being both made of light and embodiment of darkness, this we call the grey, being that we are the instruments of her will, instruments of the first will, the original will, we submit the, this credo to the world. But this is, but this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies, Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. Wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. 
Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a lady man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en crisse. I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. All right, stop the subtitles there. So we'll just go back. We'll have to talk to John. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer? and deliver it to the courier when she comes. It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. It sounds like a uh, espionage, if you ask me. A locked door. <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Log on, and I'll walk you through this. Today, Abstergo's Templar frauds have given themselves to base practices and claim wrongly that men and women are delicate and sensible and feeling creatures in and of themselves and therefore deserve society, deity, and comfort and mindlessness in the presence of pleasure. Nothing could be sicker, false, or disgusting lying bastards. I do. Ah. Oh. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. Roderick Lanko, Pope Alexander VI, a cleric and Bon Vivant. Vivant by any name, Rodrigo Borgia, served as Templar Grandmaster from 1476 until his death. For too long, this man of faith and passion suffered under a smear campaign by the hands of his enemy, Ezio Auditore. Let him now be celebrated and remembered for his progressive outlook and focus on family values. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. First day at the job and you freaking hack hey, into computers. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's funny. I I have this memory of you, uh, one I keep coming back to, and I I always think about it when I'm working or just before going to bed uh, because it um, sort of calms me. I guess um, I was 14, I think, and um, and and you were trying to teach me how to to walk with a light step. Remember that? How to be mindful of how much noise I made when I moved around. Simple stuff. 
Stuff I understand now, but back then, I, uh... Gotta tell you, I thought you were just being <laughs> an asshole. Uh, so, uh, you told me you were gonna go up to your room and sit with your back to the door and read a book. And you wanted me to wait at least 15 minutes and then sneak up there and tap you on the shoulder without you knowing. I, I even remember the book you were reading at the time, the one by uh, Captain Johnson. And you warned me that if you caught me, we'd have to start all over. Then you went upstairs. And I waited. I waited, and I waited, and I waited. I waited four hours before deciding to go up. And even then, it took me 20 minutes to get to the foot of the stairs. And uh, another 30 to get up them. And then 10 to get down the hall. And there I was at the door and peeked into your room. And I was, I was so hoping that you'd be asleep. But no. No, you... You were still reading. And I just about shit myself. But ten minutes later, I was just... Alright, I'm not letting him play all that. That's gonna take too, way too long. Interesting. I think I saw the sticky notes. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. That's kind of fucked up, no? Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See, that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend that never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. Another sticky note. Remember that a relentless, impertinent hollow drive to achieve anything, everything our forebearers did has led to many embarrassments and disasters, nuclear weapons, super viruses, genetically modified poison food, toxic air, plastic sea rack, and sea spawn, and the list goes on. You can look it up for yourselves on the internet, but all this too had a secret purpose in the end. Monitoring the data flow. 
You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. To what, like? It's like Frogger? Doing that. How the heck are all these computers? Oh, this one's a bit more difficult, eh? I think that's it for this map, right? This camera room here, which is not good. Elevator. What's this? Oh, those are the three desks. What's here? Toilet? Yeah, it's toilet. You're just being ridiculous now. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. You made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You limey. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? No, oh, I wonder where these guys are from. Just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Level 2, Project Echantillon 17. Support to the second floor sample 17 project. What's going on? Alright. Then I'm going to call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.